And there's something else we know for sure after last night. It is Pelosi who remains a pretty big drag for Democrats at the polls in certain districts, particularly this one. She was a much bigger presence uh, in this race than President Trump was. And you could argue was the Republicans' most potent attack. 98% name ID when this race started for Nancy Pelosi. Look at this mailer from the Georgia 6 sent out by a Republican group. The Pelosi strategy is nothing new, of course. It's been happening every cycle since 2010. Take a look. Chris Carney's voting with Nancy Pelosi over 90% of the time. We can send Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi a rubber stamp. Simpson voted with Nancy Pelosi to bail out Wall Street. Ann Deacon says she'll vote in lockstep with Pelosi. Ossoff will vote with Nancy Pelosi for more spending, bigger government, and a weaker military. Yes, we know there's a, a, a slipped in ad there where even a Republican primary campaign somehow used Nancy Pelosi as an attack vehicle, and it was somewhat effective. Look, if you're the Republicans today, you're thinking, if the playboy, playbook ain't broke, don't fix it. For Democrats, they've got to start thinking about how hard it's going to be to sell voters on a change environment in a change election if the answer to the question of, okay, who's Democrats going to put in as Speaker of the House, if the answer is still Nancy Pelosi.